hi in last video we have seen what is the string then we have seen different different functionality of the string and we have solved few problems and in this video i'm going to continue the same topic which is the string only and this will be the part two for the string up to is operator we have seen in the last video in this video we are going to see what is the equality operator so let's start but before going to start please like and subscribe my channel yeah so let's start so the next topic is equality operator so what is the equality operator so we will start with the definition we can compare the content of the two string with the help of the equality operator the comparison will return true only when the number of element must be equal the order of the insertion should be same and the content should be in same case either upper case or lower case it should be same only at that time only it will return true so let me show you the practical demo so you will get more clear idea copy this entire thing and paste here see first i have taken one string one which is vipul then string two durgesh then string three durgesh and here i want to print like I want to compare string 1 is equals to equals to string 2 or not. Let me comment this entire thing. Let's run. See, it's it's returning false. Why? Because string is nothing but the vipul and string 2 is nothing but the durgesh. Because of that only it's returning false. Then let's check for the second one. One second. In second what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to compare 1 and 3 see for 1 and 3 also it's showing false only because string 1 and string 3 both are different only then let me check for this one see here what i'm trying to do i'm i'm comparing string 1 is greater than string 2 so let me run see it's returning true only so keep in mind String 1 is nothing but the vipul and string 2 is nothing but the durgesh and it's showing string 1 is greater than string 2. Why? Because if you compare the length of the string 1 and string 2 then string 1 is a less only but still here it's showing true only. So why it is showing true? Because while we are comparing the string it is not going to compare the length of the string. They are going to internally compare the ASCII code of the string. So if you remember in one of the my video, I have already told told you what is the string, what is the ASCII code. So I'm repeating again. These are the integer number or integer number given to all the characters like A, B, C, D. They have some integer number. That number is nothing but the ASCII code. So for example, for capital A, it's a 65. Then capital B, 66. Then capital C, 67 like that up to z so based on that if you see the d is coming first and b is coming in last so because of that only even the length of the durgesh is the maximum but still due to the ascii code comparison vipul is the greater so keep in mind if if two string are going to be compared then it will not going to compare with not going to compare based on the length of the string it is going to be compared based on the ascii code of that string so keep in mind so let me check for this one see i'm getting false the same only string one is the vipul and string three is the durgesh then here i have written one more condition it is true because we can do we can check the condition like this also greater than and equals to and this last one so this is how you can compare the two string and these are the different different condition like double equals to greater than less than greater than equals to less than equals to like that so this is all about the equality operator or in a general we have uh, already seen this one in the operator video where we are calling this comparison operator 
so equality operator and comparison operator both are same only so don't be confused so there is a one very common question arises if you remember in our last video we have learned about the is operator also so there there little bit confusion between what is the difference between the is operator and double equals to operator so the answer is very simple identity operator which is is operator are used for the reference or address comparison of the reference variable and equality operator are used for the content comparison of reference variable so let me tell you what is the meaning of this line if you want to check the address of the two variables at that time you can use the is operator but if you want to check the content of the two variable at that time you have to use the equal equality operator so i hope you get clear idea when we have to use the is operator and when we have to use the equality operator so the next point is strip what is the strip so the strip is the inbuilt method which is used to remove the spaces at the beginning and end of the string so let me tell you in a simple word for example you have uh, one condition like if name equals to durgesh this is your condition and after this condition only you want to execute some block of code but there might be chance if the user entering the name durgesh along with durgesh maybe chance he enter the some spaces you cannot you cannot 100% sure uh, user will not do any mistake there might be chance along with the data he added some space so at that time our output will affect or our code will affect it will not get proper result so to avoid such a silly mistake we have a strip so with the help of this strip we can remove the spaces so because of that only we have a strip and we have a different different forms of strip like a strip l strip r strip so basically if you want to remove the space from both the side beginning and end of the string at that time you can use the as strip and if you want to remove the space from the left side at that time you can use the as strip and if you want to remove the space from the right side at that time you can use the r strip so i know most of the people not getting exactly what is the purpose of this but so let me show you the real time scenario for example we have one string name equals to durgesh and you have added some space at the beginning and and then for example you want to print this string so simply print name run see durgesh is printing and here it's uh, looking like uh, there is uh, no any space kind of things but space is there so when you will take this input from the user and if you go for validation at that time you will not get proper result so if you want to remove this space you can use name dot strip function let me run see have you observed previously it was a little bit here i have used the as strip so it shifted here let me show you again first let me comment this one and one second let me print name yeah let me print this one also so you will get clear idea see if i'm printing normally it's printing here but when i'm adding the asterisk it's printing from here it's removing the white spaces so keep in mind this functionality is a very useful why because when you are going to take the any input from the user and you want to validate 
and you want to run the block of the code based on that condition so it might be chance user have entered the space also so if you want to avoid such a silly mistake you can use the s trip i have shown you two more which l trip and r trip so with the help of this you can avoid this silly mistakes then we have a count strict also support the count so let me tell you what is the count so count is the inbuilt method which is used to count the occurrence of the substring in main string i'm repeating again what is the count so count is the built inbuilt method inbuilt method which is used to count the occurrence of the substring in the main string so what is the meaning of this line for example if you have a main string and you want to check whether the particular character or any particular substring how many times occurs or repeating at that time with the help of the count inbuilt method we can check so here you can see the syntax syntax is string for example whatever string you have then count then substring and string substring then starting and ending ending you have to specify the starting and ending attribute is the optional it is not required every time you have to pass it no it's an optional only so starting from where you want to start ending like where you want to stop so let me show you copy this entire code and I paste here see I have one string Durgesh Rajkumar Yado and I want to check the occurrence of the D like I want to check how many type D is repeating in this particular string see here I need to specify the string name so a string name is nothing but the string only whatever I have written here that name I have to specify here also then I want to check the count so for that I have an inbuilt method provided by the python only which is count then what element or what character or what substring I want to check so I want to check for the D so because of that only I have written D so basically I am going to check how many times D is occurs in this particular string and here I have not mentioned the starting and end part of the string as I already told you it's an optional part so first let me comment this one and let me run see for D I am getting 2 it means the D character repeating 2 times so if you observe 1 and 2 because of that only it's returning 2 then you can specify the range also in part, and the range is nothing but you can specify the starting and ending part where you want to search for particular substring so i have mentioned one and eight so it will start from one one is nothing but the u and it will go up to eight so zero one two three four five six seven eight so it will not going to consider it it will check up to r only so let me check see it's shown one time see here we have a u and here also we have a u but just because we have specified the range or starting and ending part so our starting from the one so from one to a so because of that only they are not going to be considered u only if you remember if you remove this one and now run then it will check in in that in the star entire string so this one and this one because of that only it's returning two so this is how we can check the count of any particular substring or character in the main string so keep in mind python support count functionality and count is nothing but the inbuilt method so i hope you get clear idea because based on this we have to solve many problem because maybe interviewer asked you 
find the occurrence of the particular character or substring in the main string. Don't worry, we will solve the problem with the help of the count. So at that time you will get clear idea. Next inbuilt method is the replace. So I think most of most of the people by the name only they get the clear idea what will be the replace inbuilt method. So let me tell you the definition or what is the exact meaning of the replace inbuilt method. So the replace is the inbuilt method which is used to replace some part of the main string by the substring. I'm repeating again. Replace is the inbuilt method which is used to replace some part of the main string by the substring. For example, you have one main string and you want to replace few character or some part of that main string into the another. At that time, you can use the replace function. Sorry, replace inbuilt method. So let me show you. For example, I have a string Durgesh Rajkumar Yadav. And in this, I want to replace all the D with the some another character or some another substring. Let me show you how we can do for that. Let me take one variable s equals to then I need to specify the string name. So copy this one and paste here dot replace. Replace then here. So first we need to specify the main string what string you want to replace so i want to replace d for that d then i need to specify the by which substring you want to replace so for example d i want to replace with the double a like that after that i want to print that one that's it let me run see initially here was d but of but uh, we have replaced with the double a because of that only double a showing here then here also if you see after y there is a sorry after a there is a d so because of that only it's showing here so this is how you can replace the any string in the python so there might be chance you will get question like how we can replace the main string with substring or not like that or you will get question like uh, replace the this particular main string range with the another substring so this is how you can do so keep in mind string support the replace inbuilt method which is used to replace the main string with the substring so the next topic is this split keep in mind that count and replace that is a very small thing and you used very rarely but this split is a very it's a very very important concept so split or r split so don't be confused we will see what is the split split and r split so time being only consider split is the inbuilt method which is used to return the list of the string after breaking the given string by specified operator I hope most of the people not getting this definition so I am repeating again split is the inbuilt method which is used to return a list of string after breaking the given string by the specified separator so by the name only you can understand what is the meaning of the split for example you have one string Durgesh string Durgesh and you want to break or you want to divide that particular string in so that things you can do with the help of the split so basically the splits or our split are used to divide the part divide the main string so let me show you the syntax this is a syntax so first we need to specify the string name then dot split then we have to specify the separator and maximum split how much you want so and let and this is for r split so s split and r split both are same only the only difference is 
R split will be split from the right side and S split will be split from the left side. So keep in mind R split and split both is the same only. What is the different? S split split or divide the string from the right side sorry from the left side and R, R split divide the string from the right side. So this is the main difference between the split and R split. So here we have to specify the separator like based on which you want to separate and what will be the maximum split. So this is the optional. So let's see here I have mentioned max split is the optional or by default is the minus one. So for example, if we have one string Durgesh, Rajkumar, Yado and I am from Mumbai. This is my one of the string. So let me copy this one. And paste here. I want to split. Then I want to string. Then split. Then here we need to specify the based on what condition you are going to be split so if you leave empty it means you are going to be um, break or split this uh, main string on the space based on space so after every space it will break and create one list so let me show you print l and let me run c after every space, it's created one list item. So, see, Durgesh, Rajkumar, Yado, all are getting different, 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 different item. All are going to be treated as a different, different item in the same list. And as I told you, if you are going to be split in a string, it will convert it into the list. So, let me show you the proof for that. If you check the type, type of the LC list. So this is what I'm trying to explain you. If there is any string and you are going to convert into the or you are going to be split, then by default it's going to become going to be become list only. So let me tell you a few more points. First let me remove this one. Yeah. So this is how you can split the string. But there is some extra features we have. For example, you want to split in a three part only, up to three. Maximum split you want three only. Let me run. Oh, sorry. And one more thing. If you want to pass the maximum split, then you have to also specify double quote. And let me run one second. And here you need to specify the space. See. So Durgesh, Rajkumar, Yado, and this one is in the one part. Let me show you one second so you will get clear idea if I show you all the things in the same place. Remove this one. And let me print one more time. See, previously, Durgesh, Rajkumar, Yado, and here it's showing, and I am from Mumbai in different different but when I have specified the maximum length 3 only at that time what he did he print Durgesh, Rajkumar, Yado in the separate separate but this entire part he has printed in the one single form and why I see here I have mentioned 3 but if you see here 1, 2, 3, 4 because it is taking from 0. So 0 to 3 is 4 only. Because of that only it's printing 4 part. So this is how you can also specify the split. Maximum split also. And keep in mind if you are going to specify the maximum split. Then for this space you need to provide like that. And if you are not going to use. Then at that not going to use the maximum split. At that time you can directly use like this also. Let me run and show you. See we are not getting any error. And one more thing. This is about the split. So there is a one more R split. So let me copy this one and paste here. 
or paste here and here R split. Let me run and show you what is the difference we are getting. One second, we need to print this one also. Yeah, see, in a case of the right, it is going to be split from the right. So it's splitting Mumbai from AM and then this one in the one string. So I hope you get clear idea how we can use this split and what is the R split. So the next topic is all possible cases of alphabet. This is a very easiest topic in this string. You know, like you have to just uh, remember this point. No need to buy hard these things. So see, I'm, I'm going to explain here only. You will get clear idea. For example, you have any string and you want to convert that string into the uppercase. At that time, you can use the dot upper inbuilt method. With the help of this method, you can convert all the all the content or all the character of the string into the uppercase. Then we have a lower also if you want to convert into the lower part. And then we have a swap cases to cut lowercase alphabet into uppercase and uppercase into the lowercase. Like that we can do. Then we have a title capitalized kind of possible cases of alphabet. So let me show you so you will get clear idea. Let me copy this entire code. Copy this one and paste this one. This is not that much important but uh, you have to know these things. So let me run. See, the string I have in the lower case, Durgesh. So what I have did, I have did string dot upper. It means I want to convert that string into the upper. So if you see here, it's printing in the capital letter. So this is how you can convert any sm small or lower case alphabet into the upper case or capital letter. So the second string, I have a Rajkumar, which is in the capital. But I want to print in the lower case. So for that, we have a lower method. So if you see here, it's showing Rajkumar in the lower case. But here, the original string was in the capital. Then here Durgesh is in the in the small case and the Yado in the upper case. So with the help of this swap case, swap case, we can convert lowercase let alphabet to uppercase alphabet and uppercase alphabet to lowercase alphabet. So the same thing only we have did here. See Durgesh showing in the capital and Yado in the small. Then we have a title. title case and after that we have a capitalization case so these are the different different alphabet case so just keep in mind like just this kind of functionality we have in a python like uppercase lowercase title capitalization so if in future it's required you can directly use this one thank you so much for watching this video and please like and subscribe my channel Thank you.